All right, welcome to another episode of Edible Yards XYZ. Uh, today is another variation of Seed Starting 101, how to start vegetable seeds from seed or vegetable plants from seed. So what you do is you go to your local garden shop, get yourself some seeds, and they have to be able to be grown within the season or you just have to time it right of course so right now it is July 5th and it's really late in the season but I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna see if I can get away with some of these warm weather crops I know what I'm doing I'm pushing it to the edge a little bit so it is late in the season what you're normally gonna have to do is uh, consult your planting charts your vet local vegetable planting charts for your zone I'm in zone 10a in Los Angeles in the valley and uh, so I have to grow plants that will grow well here now uh, at this time of year. So anyway, I have some experience, so I'm going to give it a go. Normally, for beginner gardeners, you wouldn't want to start growing anything this late in the season. Okay, you can, might be able to get, get away with a few things. Okay, so back to basics. Here are your basic supplies for vegetable seed starting. A seed tray. These are called cells, or uh, seed cells, or seedling cells. There are 72 in here. That's a good average amount of cells you should get when you go to the garden shop. These are two variations. This one has a polygon shape. These are just square inside. So and these, each one of these has like a, a little pod or like six within a little segment there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter which one you get. This one might have a little more space in it, and professionals might have their preferences. Anyway, so you can start with these 72 cell uh, seed trays, get your seed, and then of course your markers, your labels, so that and a Sharpie. See, this is one brand. The seed starting mix, which I use here, that's one I got. That's a good quality one. A little more expensive than your average seed starting mix. Your seed starting trays will often come with some kind of a seed starting medium. I generally don't like those or use them, so I get my own. They just don't seem to work as well as just using your own seed starter mix. And then filling up these cells. That's a little bit of a skill in itself filling these up without you know evenly making sure that the soil is all even not overflowing or not under you have to kind of poke it in a lot and then keep reapplying it anyway so uh basic seed starting 101 here are all the supplies you need and of course plenty of sun proper temperature right time of year Anyway, you need at least six to eight hours of sun, really, for most any food plants, fruits, or vegetables. So that's another episode of Seed Starting 101. I'll let you know how it goes. We got the Purple Beauty. Oh yeah, let me show off a little bit. California Wonder, uh, peppers, those are kind of normal type golden jubilee tomato nice yellow tomato low acid they say i guess a different type of taste purple beauty peppers these nasturtium are edible flowers and the leaves are actually edible as well purple cherokee tomato nice heirloom variety those usually taste better but they just don't preserve well so you don't find them in the market or you just have to pay a lot more money for them. The Black Beauty eggplant. Gonna give that a go. These are all warm weather crops or even hot weather crops that can grow now very possibly. The money maker, the big, the big banger. Extra large jumbo tomatoes, another heirloom. The closest you'll get to having a money tree in your backyard. This old English variety produces a bounty of delicious fruit. Is this a good brand? Um, botanical interests, yeah. And basil, Italian Genovese, good stuff. Yeah, that should grow. 
Alright, over and out. Edible yards, XYZ. Starting vegetables from seed. Peace.